actually feels like bully. I feel bad. He's not even in the second half. He's not even finished the first half. He's got 21 frags. And he's already kicking out. Of Bro. This video is going to break me. It's actually going to break me, man. Don't tell me. Don't, don't, don't. He's doing it again, man. He's going for it in the window, man. They are receiving back shots every round. What the fuck? Alright, boys. Today we're going to be watching Fnatic Durka. Durka, man. Classic, one of the best duelist players historically for the last, like, I don't know, four years or something. This guy's just been popping. And his stats, they, they don't be lying, man. These are from last season, by the way. He hasn't played much this season, as you can see. A whopping four games, not much to go by. But Durka, man, he's cracked. We all know Durka. He's playing in Shanghai right now, so... You know, we're trying to get some videos on a lot more players that are in Shanghai. It's fun, not gonna lie, but... Durka's actually just been spamming Yoru, I don't know if you've seen his Twitter a while ago, he just, he was just tweeting out, he just became Yoru on Twitter. I don't know, I think he might have lost his mind, the boldness, maybe it's gone to his head. Who knows, but either way, the guy's cracked. When he plays Jet, he's cracked. We're gonna watch his Jet on uh, Ascent, and it, it's gonna be a banger game. I think it's like, it, it's somewhere in the 30 kill range, so let's just watch the GOAT himself, Durka, and just learn from his gameplay, because you can learn a lot from this guy as well, so let's just jump in. I right, was so starting out on the defense of Ascent. We're actually just going for a Sheriff. We're chilling B main, which is kind of rare. Going for the, the cheese spawn. He only spots a Cypher there. A lot of the times, if you only see a Cypher, the guy's probably lurking. And he caps the Killjoy like this. And we actually in double center. Like. Uh, he, he wants to swap angles here. Standard thing, right? No matter what duelist you're playing, or no matter kind of who you're playing, but especially on duelist, your big thing is to let your position be known, whether that's by spraying your bullets, or whether that's by getting a kill, anything at all, and then you move the fuck out of there. That, that's like your standard way of playing the game. Because, I mean, the, he didn't get an extra one here, but you catch the enemy off guard, right? Unfortunate there, you couldn't get another kill. But you know what I'm saying, right? You catch the enemy off guard, their their callouts, they're calling, you know, Jet, Jet CT. Jet CT mid. Nice. Outlaw, free kill. But you know what I mean? They're like, Jet CT, blah, 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 blah. And then they run somewhere else. You predict where they were going to, you get a free kill. And once you win that pistol round, man, you just pick up the outlaw and uh, have your fun. If you're whiffing with the outlaw, um... You're probably me, I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> if you're whiffing with the outlaw, you probably need to hop on the aim mobs. Or your Darko. <laughs> yeah, he, let, he lets his uh, teammates pick up the kill there. No point in risking your outlaw. Only thing with the outlaw is, you can see he has heavy armor now, but a lot of the times when you buy that outlaw, you only have light armor at best because uh, just the way the money kind of works. So just be careful, them sheriffs that they buy, they, they can one shot you. Nice kill there. Ooh. Nice, there it is. That's a power in it, man. Enemy Jet thought he was him. He picked up anything at all. Picked up a Sheriff or something on the other round. One shot. Ooh. Got the hiccups. I love this skin, by the way. I'm so sad I didn't buy it. It's a uh, Primordium skin. One day, man. One day they'll give it to me. Yeah, pretty pretty stock standard round here, though. They, even though it's a bonus fan, they just win kind of for free. Durka, Durka just kind of clicks the, the body and pops off. I'm gonna give it Careful. They might have had the spike here or something. But, you know, the, the big thing about that round is... You should see it now. I'm gonna honestly forward it because it's kind of boring watching them look for this guy. You'll see. Every round he pretty much starts somewhere else, right? First round he starts B main. Second round I think he starts similar to this position. Third round he starts over towards Cat. He's moving around. He's not being predictable. Enemy have no idea where he's gonna go. And he's gonna get his teammate to break his silver dart here, I think? Yeah, his teammate was breaking it, but he didn't want to commit to it. There's too much util. 
Too many enemies, you don't want to risk it. They should be on their eco again. Oh, that actually has a bamboo, I think. But we won that deal. Oh, it's a flash, nice. Plays a little, little off angle on the flash. Okay, bro, chill, 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 chill. Chill, bro, what the fuck? It was so fast. I mean, those first two kills, they're pretty they're pretty standard, pretty normal. We pop our dash. We smoke the ground here because he knows there's multiple enemies. He wants to he wants to make it so they don't know where he is, right? Same reposition and tech I was talking about just at the start. If you smoke if you get a kill and you smoke the ground, your conversion ratio like ratio for more kills is gonna be fucking way higher, I'm not gonna lie. But we are, we do have the jet dash, so we want this fight, you know what I mean? We peek out, get that. That was just a crazy flick. And they fully egos this guy for the ace. I actually love it one. Listen to those sounds. Riot Gabe's with their skins. Nine and one, by the way. Similar position here again. But no, he does have I think it's his killjoy playing in market. It's someone someone on his team is playing market to break this dart for him. We uh just dry so I get him though. Same thing again. We're actually gonna push through the smoke here. Same the same premise though, right? Even though like yeah, some of them shots are crazy. But like you can it's all about smoke switch jet, man. It's all about smoke tech. Like, jet is literally mobility, aim, and smoke tech. That, that's the whole character. If you can get those three things down, you're gonna just I don't know about Cypher. You're gonna pop off on Jet. We do end up going down to a 2v2 here because of this uh, this troll. A little bit of trolling on the peak. All good. Absolutely no idea who this guy is. I don't even know if he's actually on liquid or if he's trolling. But all good. Fanatic though, man. I think they played Gen G the day before I was recording this. But um, I, I didn't get to watch the game. I kind of wanted to sit down and watch it. You know, I mean, yeah. by the time this is uploaded, let me know how the game went. I don't know. I, I don't remember. Bit of it from when I will upload this, but all good. Same kind of tech, but like, I, I actually love this off angle, by the way, at the very beginning here. I think it's so good. But this is why you need that guy to break the dart, right? If your teammate doesn't break the dart here, you're you're left in no man's land. You're absolutely fucked. He actually pre-aims the um the jump peak there too. He expects it. A guy like me, I hit those flicks. Man like me hits those. You see, it's so oppressive to uh, play against a good jet on this map. Like, once you get this op going, it's pretty much game. That's why the pistol round is so important. Nice smokes there by the enemy jet. Just kind of puts them in a bit of a pickle. I don't even think they have smokes, do they? No, enemy team didn't pick smokes. Should be should be pretty free then for Durka. Imagine, imagine being in Radiant and not even picking smokes. That's crazy. Like they are going to pick up this round though. We take those though. Uh, they end up... Popping the, popping the KO ult is pretty, pretty valuable ult. Do you like to see that one go? I'm lucky. Oh good. Got here. Same kind of, just pushing around mid here. KO knife spots us. Wouldn't surprise me if he just ran away here. Actually, it doesn't end up running. I'm gonna drop over, yeah? See you later, bro. <laughs> Pick up two. Oh my god, bro. He's actually smurfing this game like mega hard. And this is pretty much a scent, man. I, I'm very shocked that this map didn't get moved out or anything. I, I'm actually quite shocked. Like, they got rid of the split and breeze which i mean I, i'm not gonna lie i'm not complaining about it 
fuck both of those maps. They're like my two lowest win rate maps ever in the history of Valorant. So I'm not complaining about it. I might actually start winning some games, but I really thought we'd get rid of like Ascent. Nice length there, by the way. I really thought we'd get rid of Ascent for like Fracture or something. I kind of miss Fracture, man. It, it was a shit show, but it was a fun shit show, you know what I mean? He's one HP cycle, man. 2v2 now, enemy kind of doing well to drop down the numbers. They just can't kill Durka, that's their, uh, <laughs> their problem. I'm gonna play off angle here on stairs? Yeah. Ah. Uh, never mind. He actually. Don't you know, this guy whiffed his drone bullet right there. And he just full egos the sniper so hard. Oh, that was that was a little bit too frisky. <laughs> All good though. I must say, man, it feels like a four v five here. Like I'm not gonna lie, it feels like a one v five. Almost catches the KO. Yeah, Can't really land the flex there. Oh. He finally gets punished, man. Honestly, I I'm rooting for his downfall here because he's just kind of farming this entire lobby. I don't even really know what to say about it. Like, he's just taking duels constantly. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's just he's just peeking shit with an op, and he's hitting the flex. I don't know. Like, he's got like 19 kills. The guy in second doesn't even have double digits. The shot there. This cypher is kind of clean with it, man. I'm not gonna lie. He's actually. He's kind of low key him, you know what I mean? 18 kills, by the way, not bad. It's his teammate to break the knife here for him. And when are the enemy gonna learn? They ain't learning. You should rotate here. Oh, the enemy are... Bro, this feels like he's actually smurfing in silver, and this is a fucking radiant lobby, by the way. At the end of the day here, this position, even though he's 1 HP, even if he dies and ints, his phoenix pretty much secures the round by being in this corner. He knows his place. He, know he knows he's like a an NPC right now. Dirk is a little bit main character in this lobby. And to be honest, that's one thing you gotta know. Sometimes you're the NPC, man. Sometimes you're just the, the support character, even if you're playing a duelist. Sometimes, you know, the enemy just have your number, they just start one-tapping you, they're just winning every duel. Try and, try and figure out, like, if you're in those games, play that support role, you know what I mean? Bait for your teammates. It's just not Dirk in this game at all. Maybe any game. Here's the trip. Uh, I just want you to know as well how aggro his positioning is getting here. He gets another one for it. God, man. This feels like bullying. Actually, feels like bullying. I feel bad. He's not even in the second half. He's not even finished the first half, he's got 21 frags, and he's already picking out a Bro. This video's gonna break me. It's actually gonna break me, man. Don't tell me, don't, don't stop. He's doing it again, man! He's going for it in the window, man! They are receiving back shots every round. What the fuck? Cheat, bro. Okay, maybe they. they yes. Hey, he's dead. He's actually dead, finally. Big mistake here. He stood in a silver ult. And uh, he got rolled. That's, that's all I can say. Finally, man. I'm praying they struggle a bit more on the uh, on the attack. I, I want to see his brain going because right now I'm just seeing his hand.
Empty, empty, all gone. Okay. New half. Hopefully the enemies turned on the monitors. We are starting stock standard ghost and loud burst. I can't remember the last time I called it that, but here we are. Super aggro. I mean, he just gets market here just, like, quite easily. He's a little bit afraid to just remove this uh, the cipher dart right now. And he finally gets punished for it. He, he wasn't really in a position to do it. He couldn't even fall off into market. And I feel like this attack side is going to look a lot more different than the uh, defense side. There's the outlaw from the enemy. But yeah, they they don't have smokes, but they have double sentinel, and they're both like hardcore lockdown sentinels, cipher and KJ. Plus KO, KO Sova is also just really hard to play against. Nice kill there by Zoman, opens up the round. And the enemy have just given up an outlaw and a vandal from peaking mid. You think they would have learned in the first half, man? You actually think they would have? I'm gonna pick him. Mates are just running out here. He's just playing that out. Uh, shot. Just playing that, you know, sniping and attack rule. This is pretty much like, it's just your standard way to snipe here as a, like an entry fragger. I know it's simple and straightforward, but you don't really have to dash out much. You just kind of stand here, especially when there's no smokes up. You just kind of watch the angles where your teammates are going to struggle with, you know what I mean? And it's pretty much, I mean, if you get the first kill of the round, it's technically entry frag, you know what I mean? I don't know, I don't mind sniping on attack. I actually think it's way better than people get credit for. It can just be really hard sometimes in the lower elos because your teammates will probably rage at you if you're sniping on attack. Really like this loop here, by the way. I say this a lot, but if you're ever like really low HP like this in the late round, looping is always pretty much a good idea, like to be honest. As long as you have the time for it, it catches them out. He was actually saving by the looks of it take those but yeah looping looping is always op as long as you got the time for it his teammates are trying to shock that the alarm bot here we're just gonna gonna headshot him through the smoke we do end up giving up a vandal there though and it is a 3v3 Actually, losable spot for our team, especially when we don't clear backside. <laughs> Pretty interesting. That should be two vandals to the enemies now. This guy's already way out lane. Nice. That should secure the round. The, the KO was the guy. Oh. I spoke too soon. I, I, I spoke too soon, but I spoke too soon. <laughs> Never mind. Nine six enemies still have a. A chance. I'm not gonna lie. As long as it stops being dark in time, we should be good. One of his teammates is watching short here, so he's not actually exposed to much. He's looking for a little mistake here. And to be fair, with that first half, I'd be opping right now on attack too. I'm not gonna lie. Who's avoiding a drone, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh? What's the guy short? He wants to try and catch him on that jiggle peak. Ends up wasting the dash here, but I think it's actually okay. Okay, I was playing well here to not um not give him a fight. Oh, how he ended up there. He must have sprinted over, but we get the pick anyway. Lifer's chilling B main, but this, um... Oh, our Sova actually whiffs the kill there. This is rough. Nice. It's actually a really t like, uh, tough round. 
Sorry, man. I'm still at a loss for words in my first half. Like, my uh, my voice... <laughs> my voice, my brain, they don't know what to do anymore, you know what I mean? It's disgusting. We end up losing around round. Uh, Sova kind of lost us that one, to be honest. It's really hard to try and clear that A main space with an op. And he was in such a good position before it. I'd jump in here with the shorty, you know? Just dry walking through with knives. We're really creeping up here. Yeah, we catch the jet completely off guard. End up failing the jump on the gen here. He knows KO's up there. No way, we keep going. Okay. We just keep going for the same dumb spot. We're failing every time, but uh, we still have one knife. We got one knife to work with, but we actually got a big boy gun now. Is that a dart? No. Big flash. Is he going for the jump spot again? Oh, he's finally giving it up. Yeah, he just has to chill here, pretty much secure the round. Oh. <laughs> you know what? It worked in the end. It worked in the end. They got a jump spot kill. All good. Another sort of mid play here. You see how much Darka Pryo is mid? It really depends on the player, but Darka. He, he likes to he likes to run in and get his kills, as you can see, but. He doesn't like just running it down on main. Like, Especially if you'll see it a lot. Just swinging CT there, getting a little bit. A little bit angsty for the kill, but especially in ranked, some like I, I've noticed a lot in lower elos, you see a lot of these like sage sentinel comps, right? You get sage plus something else, right? It's really difficult to just run through a sage. It's genuinely very hard, which is why I think sage's win rate in ranked is actually good, unlike her pick rate in pro play, which is like almost zero. That's why he likes to, especially on a map like this, he really likes to just push down through mid. Get that mid space, you can see he gets a Sova to try and shock out the alarm bot. He just dashes in market and gets his. 33 kills. His second teammate has less than half of his kills right now. At 14. That is ridiculous. Sprinting up again, getting his teammate to break the alarm bot. And he finally gets punished there from the the brutal crossfire. That's what it can look like if you if you go way too fast. The enemy they've caught on now. They know what he likes to do. They know he's just running up market. Trying to get this B split going. We should see him change up his playstyle here. Into the next round. I don't think Soap is gonna win this one. Not happening for him. He's not him. There we go. You can see he changes up his playstyle now once it stops working. Unlike the enemy team last half, which just continuously ran down mid and kept losing every round, he's gonna change up and start pushing towards main now. Shotgun close here. Those are Molly actually almost kills the, the Phoenix off res. We still have full util here. Yeah, but you see, it, it can get really difficult um, trying to run down main here. But honestly, if I'm dropping 33, I'm probably just gonna let the Phoenix go out too. Dropping it up to A here. Enemy do have KO and Silver ult. Might be a little bit difficult. And there is the Cypher Trap. And it's absolutely our downfall there. Durka forgot the golden rule. If you're playing against Cypher, updraft and then dash. It's rough. We do have these shock darts to break some util, but honestly not looking good now. Their economy's in the in the dumps. <laughs> not actually looking very good for Durka. Economy's in the bin. Yeah, he's calling for mid again. The only thing that's really worked for them, he's gonna have to force up a guardian here. Very unideal. 
This game was looking like a 12-0 blowout, but enemy team actually got the lead now, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Let's pick there with Sova. Here's him reloading on the left there. Nice. Went down to a 5v3 here. He's actually got a really nice lurk timing. Straight. Don't die, don't die, I'm, I'm behind wait. It's an important call there. Just I'm dude, just don't to... die. He, he's Until got a really good angle. Just needs the extra time and there it is. One more, one more. Almost get the third. And that's around now. Teammates, they finally They finally started popping off. He just gave him the extra time. Teammates look to be more comfortable playing slow. Yeah, enemy cipher dropping 27, man. It's crazy to think we're 35 kills in and that we haven't won the game. But he's doing numbers too, man, I can't lie. Even in a smokeless comp. Nice. So, uh, yeah, I'd assume we play back in towards mid now again. We got a Vandal, we got Knives. Get the solo dart in mid, so there's no one close. And that's pretty much the util you want, right? You want a solo dart in this region here, on this wall or on this wall, they're pretty goated. If there's anyone in behind this close wall, you want an omen smoke here. If your solo is really goated, he's going to shock dart towards where the like market entrance is. For the, the Killjoy alarm bot. And then we pretty much have full mid control. You don't even have to do anything as Jet. It's not really your job. Your job is from here on. Alright. Smoke like this. Pretty goated. Looking for the cam. Big flash there. Smoke is actually big there. To stop him from getting... Yeah, if you ever get flashed with Jet, just try and smoke the ground as best you can. Phoenix, he's kind of back. No mind. 2v1 now. Enemy has Odin. Nice. Actually cleared his flank too. <laughs> he's not happy with his uh, 7 and 18 Phoenix. But we are, we are going Super Saiyan mode this round. We got knives, we got op. Looking for any sort of small mistake here. It's over drone. They know he's opping now. If Sova called that he's opping, but um, he might not have. Well, once they know that you have the op, like, you know, the jig's up, we'll say. Looks like they are trying to end A here. A fake ult towards B. Nice, really big pick. That's the it's a top frag v top frag fight we need. One dice. What's the flash? Nice. Still though, not a very easy round here. Sova should have his arrow coming up soon as well. His recon. Nice. Really good reposition there. We really don't want to lose this one. We really don't want to lose this one. Oh no. We got a Vandal? We can? We hear him? Oh my god, bro. What a sick play to win the game. Dropping 39 and 15. That is a 2.6 KD, man. What a fucking carry. Holy shit. What an absolute, like, hard carry. That was impressive, I'm not gonna lie. Durka, man, he still has it. He actually still has it. But, yeah. Oh, God, I'm saying this every fucking video, man, but... Maybe Fnatic are winning champs. I don't know, man. It's not champs masters. That's the one. He didn't even get a perfect tracker score, by the way. How's that not perfect? He actually played that game, like, flawlessly. He had the odd int, but, like... 440 ACS. What a banger game. But yeah, anyway, boys, that's gonna be the video. Thanks for watching. Like, sub, all that shit. Join the Discord. Follow me on Twitch. Go well, follow Darker, man. This guy, guy needs it. He needs more love than he gets, I swear. But yeah, anyway, see you later.